Greetings, folks. We're journeying towards Resurrection Sunday and all the hope and the renewal, uh, the newness that Easter Sunday brings. It's, it's the season of Lent, a time of preparing ourselves, often a time of more focused spiritual discipline as we get ready to shout hallelujah on Resurrection Sunday. And certainly since the fourth century, Christianity has walked this way of discipleship and denying self for a period before Easter morning. I remember when I was a senior pastor and I decided to lead by example and I told my congregation that I was giving up soda and chocolate, two of my favorite things. Seemingly giving up broccoli didn't count. But then one Sunday morning during the Lent period, my Scottish humor tripped me up badly and I joked with the congregation that me giving up of soda had meant that I'd been drinking a lot more beer. <laughs> yup, that one got me into a lot of trouble. For some Christians in the Orthodox traditions, this time of Lent is a season of what they term bright sadness. That term speaks powerfully to my soul. Bright sadness. I think growing healthy churches is going through a sort of Lenten period. Much of what we've been discovering in talking to GHC pastors has been sad. Too much neglect, too many feelings of being left outside, too many discouraged pastors, too many congregations where numbers are small and the load being carried by a few is too heavy. Tired pastors, disillusioned pastors. But friends, listen, there is also a bright sadness. New things are being planned and birthed in growing healthy churches. A new day is dawning. It's not here now, but there is bright coming. Let me share a little of what's dawning. In April, we have two practical seminars happening on how to get people to invite other people to come to know Jesus. It's a seminar about the oikos principle. Oikos, that Greek word for your extended household, those eight to 15 people that you do a lot of life with, some who are believers in Christ, and some who you can help on their journey to Jesus. More details about these seminars are in this e-news, which brings you this video. Two locations, two different dates, the same seminar. And I'm excited for two GHC pastors, Peter Anderson and Ricky Hemi, to do the teaching. And we continue to help churches. Our office team, led by Michelle, will answer all sorts of your questions. Our listening forums told us that you all appreciate all the help that our office can give. So keep contacting them. And we're still working with churches on pastoral search, pulpit supply, crisis intervention, board and pastor coaching. Just now, we might not have as much bandwidth as we want, but we have some and brighter is coming. But what's most exciting We've put together a team of 14 GHC pastors to sit around a strategic table and help sharpen and refine the new vision and strategy that's emerging. A vision and a strategy that believes our GHC churches in Northern California and Northwest Nevada can rise to be strong and effective. We must, for the sake of the kingdom of God, 12 churches a day are closing in America. There's a driving mantra that will help shape our vision and our strategy. A rising tide lifts all boats. I remember the harbour that I grew up next to in Scotland. I watched as the tide came in and all boats, the big and small, the impressive or the little, which had been sunken into the sandbank, were equally raised up and began to do what they were meant to do, sail down the river. We are working on that vision. And in October, during our service of renewal and revival, 
we will relaunch and restart being about helping all our churches be growing and being healthy together. Bright sadness. Not there yet, a journey to go, but resurrection, renewal is coming. This is our faithful prayer. Join us praying and working for it. Until the next time.